Okay, let's get some reaction now from the Department of Water and Sanitation. I'm joined by their spokesperson, Sputnik Ratao. Sputnik, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, what happened here? Um, what happened was that the, there was a proposal to utilize the, the applications um, from this uh, uh, particular company step. Uh, for a number of uses uh, within the, the sector broadly as well as within the department itself. But seemingly uh, from what the investigation has shown, uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, occurrences that were not in line with what, uh, you know, the processes should have allowed. And therefore, that is why the, 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 the uh, uh, the, the contracts have been found to be invalid as well as having been set aside. And that implies that, uh, uh, you know, we should not have been in that situation in the first place. Yeah, invalid and unlawful is what the special tribunal has found following that intensive investigation. Uh, 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 unlawful, invalid, would it suggest that there was some foul play here or did somebody drop the ball? I mean, contracts to the value of more than a billion rand in totality in relation to the software licenses, that's quite a big chunk of money to drop the ball. For them to have been uh, uh, um, uh, constitutionally invalid, it implies that uh, the processes were not followed, even at uh, you know from from day one, because the PFMA is is, is quite clear in terms of how uh, government needs to do its work, but also there are supply chain management processes that need to be followed. So all of those safeguards probably were were, were either ignored or. or were bypassed in some one way or the other. And the, the unfortunate thing is that uh, uh, looking at the size of, of the money that, that, that is uh, involved here, it also forms quite a, a substantial amount that, that, that is part of what we have had uh, difficulties with over the last couple of years to, to justify even to, to the, the Auditor General and National Treasury. And that is part of what has led to, to, to these investigations happening and obviously uh, through through the, the processes set in, in place by the signing of the of the of the uh, authorities to to the SIU to enter the fray okay. then has, has brought this kind of relief. There has to be that kind of relief, I'm sure. I mean, the, in five days, according to the special tribunal's order, uh, uh, SAP has to pay 263 million rand within the next five days of the date of the order. So that money is still coming. We'll have to wait and see about the remainder. But now let's focus on your department of water and sanitation. Surely there has to be consequences for the officials involved here. I understand there are two senior officials who are implicated here. What action is the department taking against them? Yes, the SIU has, has recommended action uh, uh, against these two officials, and, and, and one is, 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 is already, the process is already underway, and it is expected that it will be finalized probably in the next couple of days or, or maybe a week or two, primarily because obviously the finding of, of, of the tribunal is, is going to be quite critical and central to the processes following here with, but also uh, um, there, there is a further uh, recommendation uh, from, from the SIU that other officials, uh, other than just these two, uh, could need to be followed up as well. The recommendations have gone to the NPA, the SAPS, and other uh, uh, organs of state which, which deal with justice to, to look at how the, that, that process must be, must, be, must, must be followed in order to bring, to bring the, those other officials to book. So it's not a closed chapter. It is still ongoing. And uh, considering the fact that uh, this uh, 260 plus the million that has been uh, ordered to be repaid was, by the way, in agreement with, with the company itself. So my understanding would be that the company would have agreed to that payment in five days because they knew that they can be able to, to make that kind of payment. 
Okay, so you are expecting the disciplinary process against one official to be concluded in the next few days, while the other one is still under consideration. But now that you've got the special tribunal's order and ruling on this matter, we could expect uh, criminal prosecutions. I heard you mentioning the NPA. Yes, we could, because that's part of the recommendations from, from, the, from, 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 the, from the SIU uh, on, on, uh, with regard to other role players that they have also identified. But obviously, those, those will, can only be known once the, 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 the judicial processes uh, are underway. Okay, so finally, I mean, there should be lessons here uh, for the department to prevent a similar occurrence in future. What is the department thinking? How are you going to tighten up uh, processes? That, that, that uh, thinking is already uh, instilled in the department. Obviously, over the last uh, couple of years, we've been working very closely with National Treasury and and, uh, and the, the Office of the Auditor General to, to streamline and, and, and bring into, into, into line, you know, the manner in which we, we do things as a department. And that is why there is a turnaround, uh, uh, a financial turnaround plan that was agreed with National Treasury that is uh, in place and it is being practiced and it is being treated with, with agency and we are uh, abiding by that. That is why even the, the annual report of the last financial year will show a, a very fast improvement uh, in terms of how we have performed with regards to looking after the finances that are allocated to the department. But it is not, uh, you know, the, the end of the chapter. We have to keep on being more vigilant. We have to work hard that we, we safeguard uh, the, the monies that have been put into the responsibility of this department for the good of the people of South Africa. Thank you very much. Sputnik Ratau, speaking on behalf of the Department of Water and Sanitation, he says that within the next few days, there will be consequences. There's a disciplinary uh, process that's being taken against one of the senior officials of the department implicated in this SAP matter. SAP itself has got to pay 263 million rand back to the department within the next five days, as ordered by the special tribunal. And there's another senior official as well who's being investigated. And in this matter, they are carrying on their investigation. There could be criminal prosecutions. We'll have to wait and watch the space.